Morning, even afternoon, we got a banger for y'all today, baby. X Defiant, the Call of Duty killer. That's what everyone's calling this game. I was gone when this game dropped. I was on vacation for about a week. So this is my first time actually sitting down and watching some gameplay of X Defiant. And keep in mind, I've not played this myself. This video is from Jev. Big shout out to him. Make sure you're sub to his channel, bro. He's a legend. I appreciate him very much. Let me know in the comments what you think. I talk about what I think as well. If you do enjoy this, be sure to leave a like, hit the sub button. Most importantly, be sure to tell somebody you love them. All right, I'll catch you in the next one. We got another reaction video for y'all here. This is from Jev. I heard about this game, X Defiant, that really started popping off after I left. And this is me reacting to Jev's video about it, saying it's the Call of Duty killer. So this is just so y'all understand too. I've seen clips. I have not played it myself. This is my first time really sitting down and actually watching someone play X Defiant. All right, what's going on, guys? It's Jev. So and... let's uh, let's see what Jev thinks. All right, what's going on, guys? It's Jev, and welcome to the closed base of X Defiant. X Defiant is a new arcade FPS made by former Call of Duty developers and also with the help of a lot of Call of Duty pros and content creators for feedback and stuff. There were tests for this game like well over a year or so ago. I didn't play it then. I only just got access to it a couple days ago and I figured, hey, I'm just gonna make a video on it. This game is completely free to play. So if you end up getting a code from either like watching streams and other stuff like that, then you can just, you know, enter the code, download the game and just this straight is up Ubisoft, play. So one right? thing that a lot of people are saying is that like, oh, this game is the Call of Duty killer. And then, you know, a lot of people have had their own opinions about come back down to this thing every single time we start talking about a Call of Duty killer. Call right. of Duty really is the only one that can just end its entire run. There hasn't been a true Dude, competitor in a long time, but like I've been saying, I just randomly clicked on my left monitor and it was my video. Sorry. Call of Duty has been getting further and further away from those older roots and is being influenced by other outside things at this point more than just arcadey FPS team based stuff. They got BR elements into the game now, they have the extraction shooter elements into the BR, which also also somehow bleeds into the multiplayer as well. And of course, skill-based matchmaking and other things that right. really are not to the benefit of the actual players of the game, but is True. mostly just beneficial to Call of Duty's pockets. X Defiant here does not have any skill-based matchmaking whatsoever in casual play. So wow. it'll feel very organic, like you're actually a part of a community and not a part of some sort of strange combine where everybody is just having their own different levels of experiences, where everything feels uh, tailor-made and curated and just completely inorganic. And then they have an alpha ranked version that's coming soon that will obviously have a strict matchmaking system just the way that it's supposed to be. Casuals, huh. barely any skill based matchmaking. That's a huge plus. At all. Ranked, very strict. It's very simple. Very easy concept that Call of Duty just simply does not really have the design and the track record of doing. Now, speaking of track record, a lot of people will talk about Ubisoft's track record, but we have to also look at it like look at Call of Duty's track record. It's okay to go and try other things. So we have Escort, True. which is kind of like the one <clears throat> robot escort mode in Black Ops 3. I think it was where your team just has to like get close to a robot and escort it to a certain location. Is it like Overwatch? Or even like Overwatch, if you've ever played that. That was weird. What the frick? Uh, zone control is obviously. I swear I've not seen this, bro. Like I swear that was crazy. Warfare. Domination, obviously we know what domination is. And then occupy is hard point. I'm gonna try a little bit of domination. So immediately, just looking at it right here, you immediately can see the old school style of uh, UI here. It's just yep. gonna be simple as it's gonna fill the lobby up here. You can see it all. This reminds me of old Call of Duty lobbies and Halo lobbies. This is how the basic format of all of those lobbies look. And they have managed to actually take like the rewards track and other things like that with all the factions and stuff at the top and just tuck it neatly into this little thing no problem now i am a level 11 i have been playing the game a good amount so i have some clips and other things like that and honestly i've been having a blast on the game i'm not gonna lie i have been having a blast also by the way i'm not sponsored this is not a sponsored video i'm not doing some kind of giveaway or anything either i'm literally just playing the <laughs> just game because i out. genuinely think it's fun I've got weapons like the m4 the ak m16 the what ACR, how sniping is and it? it's nice that they don't have like these names where i have to try to decipher what the SG-182 is at the Vector, MP5, P90, MP7, just classic. There's also a UFC event tonight. We got daily challenges over on the sides. We got other challenges here. Immediately, you can see the old school style oh, here. Wow. Look, we have map voting. Isn't that crazy? The players have a choice. The community can decide what they want to play. Instead of forcing the players to go and play the maps that- I, I, Like I said, I haven't played this myself. This is my first time really seeing this, and this is all very, very good in my opinion. It's so good just simply because you guys don't want it to be a waste of resources is not our fault. You know what happens in other good games that actually listen to their community? They'll straight up just take the maps out of rotation. Sorry for even creating it. The entire community should have been presented with like an official apology for the monstrosity that is all of Modern Warfare 2019's maps. Speaking of map design though, I'm pretty sure all of these maps are three lane. So on here you can see it looks like a whole lot, but basically you got the cleaners that have like firebomb or incinerator drone. These are kind of like specialist abilities. Well, Some of like them are class way almost. stronger than they need to be. Like for example, every 
everybody's cool. going Libertad, and that's probably what I'm gonna go with as well. Because Libertad is just head and shoulders better than all of the other ones, I think. Yeah, pretty much everyone picked Libertad. So Libertad basically has it so you can heal, which is kind of like a stim shot. Kind of reminds me of BO4. Dr. Zone's ours now. Sniping Actually, sounds some great. Some of them do affect the gun, but no insane jump shot penalties. Crazy how familiar the game feels immediately, too. This game does have some problems, obviously. It's definitely not perfect. Like, everybody's screaming COD killer. Honestly, I'm just looking for a COD alternative. Some people are saying that this game gives a vibe of, like, a split gate where people are only going to play it for a month and then it's going to die. Obviously, it's going to be the case if that's how everybody is just going to approach the game and, you know, expect from it. I, I don't know. Obviously, it's going to go out that way if that's what you're going to make happen. And also, there's a big difference that was going on with split gate. Split gate was obviously not a straight alternative to Call of Duty. It was released right before uh, Halo, and Halo also ultimately ended up being a disappointment. Also, Splitgate was indie. It was incredible what they did with what they had. And Splitgate, I'll just say, it did not deserve to die. I think a lot of people quit playing Splitgate because they're bad. I'd be playing Splitgate right now <laughs> if more people were playing it. Instead, people just want games to die. Splitgate does not deserve to be made fun of, in my opinion. I think Splitgate is... I don't even think I played Splitgate. Did I wish? I don't think I, the reason why I this did. character is pretty much the best is know. because you can basically I I reach out and press much faster than every other class in the game. It's head and shoulders better. From what I know, they made insane amounts of adjustments on the game since the last time people played. So they are listening. Uh, the biggest thing on this game at the moment, I I'm gonna assume because of the amount of players that are on it. The netcode overall and the servers are a nightmare. The amount of times I've died around the corner and shit like that. Now that's something that obviously like whenever you get into a game that isn't like that, feels super crispy. Oh, also the aim assist is an insanely strong. I'm playing on controller, but this game does not have the same amount of insane aim assist. It's not nearly as that's strong. So for the people that, you know, feel like Call of Duty has like way too much aim assist, not fair for mouse and keyboard players and all this other shit. This game, I believe, is a lot more balanced uh, between the inputs. Also, with there not being as much aim assist, it's a lot more satisfying to hit your shots. So free to play, no skill based matchmaking, sniping feels great, gunplay feels great. The biggest issues 100% the balance for this character in particular versus the other one. Good fight. What I the mean. fuck? I'm player of the game. I've never gotten that before. Yeah, look at the sheer amount of people running the same character. Right. You can see all of the medic uh, things over here. Clearly, there's a best character in the game. Now, again, that's just like a balance thing. I immediately got the hang of the game. I got my bearings. I immediately knew what the game mode wanted. A couple of the abilities, I didn't recognize what they did at first, but became pretty clear, you know, at the start. It was super frustrating and confusing to see randomly how, like, a character could just boost up to 200 HP. It's usually, like, 100. That's just because of this broken character. If that goes away and then the net code and stuff is good, even with those issues, this shit is still fun. I played it all yesterday. But we unlocked some new stuff for the sniper rifle here. So we got all of these uh, things in here. Oh, also, yeah. So we got skins that you can go and buy or whatever or get out of the battle pass or something. I don't know how many are available. But then you also have masteries. Oh, wow right here you can get bronze silver and gold i don't know if there's gonna end up being like some sort of like ultra mastery thing where if you were to get this for every single weapon if there would be like a ultra uber camo i'm right. sure they would add it especially with the way that they have been doing feedback and they already have understand they already have all of this at launch they already got a rank mode plan they already got all this set they know exactly what I they feel like need this came out of success. nowhere it's beautiful yeah every single weapon this has a, a bronze silver I and a seems gold that's nice. This guy can get a flamethrower, but yeah. it's really not that strong, I feel. I mean, the flamethrower obviously kills people quickly, but you got can my leg tattooed. respawn, you know? Sometimes you can get a... And I'm sitting, and it's like sitting on my new tattoo, and it hurts. I just thought you guys should know that. Lucky I'm sure a lot of you were wondering. Back, something like that. <laughs> Incinerator drone is okay, but not that great. Firebombs, not. It's basically an explosion that comes out of you, so it's not that good. Incendiary rounds is pretty strong. Passive is incendiary rounds, so these guys by default have burning damage or whatever on their bullets. The Phantoms Ultimate has a plasma shield. Basically end up with like a shield around you with a shotgun sort of inside, which is pretty good for like pushing and stuff like that. But again, it's not constantly up. It's not too big of an issue. A lot of these abilities aren't as big of an issue with some adjustments. So uh, the mag barrier, I think is cool. It's just a big shield thing that you can just break. Uh, the Blitz Shield, which is basically a riot shield. Libertad, this Medico Supremo. It can boost you up to like 200 plus HP. You have the uh, Bio Vita boost, which also heals yourself and people around you. There's also Jeez. another gas canister thing that can heal people. I see why. Everyone's area. playing this. It's just playing that guy. Strong. This one right here is the only one that I feel like has a direct result on a lot of the combat that isn't necessarily even like a strategic thing. As a solo player, there's just there's really no reason to not run this when you're trying to stomp lobbies, in my opinion. Because you can get back into the fights faster, people will press you whenever you're weakened, and then you go and run away, heal up, and then around and challenge you, expecting you to be weak, and you're not. Then you have Echelon from Splinter Cell, which has like this super ability where you can wall hacks, so you can go invisible. It's really, really cool. If you watched any of my Black Ops four videos you would understand like you know my view on a lot of the specialist stuff i 
would prefer if there was no specialist kind of thing. But that was a little dope. bit of sniping. Let's uh, move over to the AK. The one thing that's really nice about this, right, is that instead of it being a thing where whenever I do well in the game and I'm worried that I'm going to be playing against Optic Gaming next, I'm not. I just end up running into another game that is just mixed up again. I wonder if this game, he didn't touch on it, but I wonder if it keeps the same lobbies. You guys remember, uh, what was that, MW2, when the lobbies would stay the same so you could play the same people? I, I don't know, I, I, random thought, but I don't think this does that. Yeah, to me, this game just has a much better chance of surviving just because there is a skill gap, but it's not a giant skill gap like people are afraid of, like Splitgate. If you see any high-level Splitgate uh, gameplay, people are like, okay, yeah, nah, I'm not even going to take the time to get better at this. There's no way. <laughs> Yeah, once you stop, like, dying from around corners and you stop, like, teleporting through each other and shit, obviously they'll go and fix the netcode and shit like that well before they go and do any ranked stuff. They gotta know that there's no way that a ranked mode is gonna work out if are people there are dying around corners or and something? shit like that. I, I haven't really... Maybe that's their abilities, right? Because I'm seeing them get kills, but there's no, like, kill streak. Ooh. You got the slide hops. Sometimes the movement feels a little clunky, but you got the slide hops. The gunplay feels good. There's recoil. The aim assist isn't too crazy. I don't know. There's something about this game that feels really rewarding. And it's hitting a spot that Call of Duty just seems to have forgotten. This feels organic. I don't feel like I'm playing something that is not real. I actually think I can snipe in this lobby. The one thing that I really miss being able to do is like going into a lobby by sniping at first. And then if I start getting my ass beat, then I just go and swap to something else. Whereas it starts getting to the point to where you just stop spawning in with the sniper rifle because you know you right. did well your last game and it's just probably just not gonna, just gonna work get out. Bumped like the up. game sees that you're dropping 100 kills on average but it's not taking into consideration like what weapon you're using like the fact that i have to think about that as a player through all the skill-based matchmaking to me is just super frustrating it just doesn't feel organic i feel like i have to use like little tricks and shit like that to make the lobbies like playable for the style that i want to play whereas here i just have to get into a lobby that, that's it play the game again okay see all yesterday i was it was just not happening for me this feels organic yesterday i was getting my ass beat 27 still and 6 fun. love Today, that i'm not getting my ass beat and i'm still having fun so again is x defiant the call of duty killer probably not in the way that people are, are talking about it but again call of duty is no longer call of duty classic call of duty multiplayer has already died it died years ago. This revives it to me. It's not trying to replace Call of Duty. It is what Call of Duty used to be. And I think that's just like a mindset that a lot of people need to get into. Ultimately, if you look at every single game, like this is a ripoff of this, this is that, and all this other shit, you're just, you're never gonna find anything. It, it is what it is. Regardless, I'm enjoying this shit. I like X Defiant. There's a UFC event tonight as well. Max Holloway against Arnold Allen. I'm gonna go with Max Holloway oh, that's, just because Arnold Allen it's does so funny. get tired. Arnold Allen could be legit. This is how long ago this video was, was Arnold Max's Allen fight. <laughs> Has Max won, right? Revolt, but I just see Max's experience over five rounds. It's a five round fight. So yeah, I already won. know Max's cardio is going to be there. He has an insane chin, regardless of how much damage he's taken. I just don't see Max I getting love, finished by Arnold. And I love Jeff when he talks about UFC, Arnold bro. Tends to punch I just as a fan. Kind of you know what I mean? Is, and I think that this fight's going to be a banger. I think they're going to be swinging. But I think eventually Arnold Allen will probably slow down and, and Max will just take over like he usually does. Uh, Co main Edson Barboza, Billy Quarantillo. I'm actually going to go with Billy Quarantillo. Dustin Jacoby versus Azamat. Jacoby probably wins that. Tanner Bozer versus Ian Kutilaba. Probably going to go with Tanner Bozer. Pedro Munoz versus Chris Gutierrez. I'm probably going to go Chris Dude, Gutierrez. Dude, Jeff is so Munoz good at pronouncing uh, names. Holy frick. Recently. Clay Guida versus Hoffa Garcia. I'll go with Hoffa. Check on X Defiant. You don't have to spend shit. Free to play. Why not? Give it a shot. I wonder how many. I'm just curious. Wow, dude. That is it. That video got a million views in eight days. I mean, it's obviously a good game. It's got a good base there. That video's got 36,000 likes. Holy frick. Hey, good for Jeb. I'm gonna have to try that out myself.